awa ninu eko iketa dini ogun we are still in study 17 sora lati je alaiso to christiani beware of being an unfaithful christian iwe look ori 16 Luke Oni chapter 16 is our anchor scripture. Luke Ori 16. Luke chapter 16. Ibeni Jesu ti pa owe omo odo ologbon ewe was where the Lord Jesus make a parable of a shrewd manager. Oluwa wa nso fun awa omo re wi pe and the how, Lord is telling us his children that we must not be a shrewd manager. Anyone that is shrewd is a treacherous person. And the scripture made us to know that what can make a man to be a to become a treacherous person covetousness. If anyone is covetous, there is no how such will not be unfaithful. And the Lord does not want us to be unfaithful words. Atiwo abala kokoni no oroifara ye. We have seen the first paragraph of the preamble. Ah, abala keji ni abe ifara ona ni afe wo. We are about to go to the second paragraph of the preamble. Ti e ba wo o winye asofun ape o marun ni Jesu Christi un gbiyanju lati mu wa sinu okan wa If you consider that parable very well we were told that Jesus had brought five issues into our hearts akoko ni Olorun ni okunrin Oloro ti won fi ran wa nu wi wiyan ni ese ikini the first one is that God is that owner, is the owner of all things that verse 1 talks about, that rich man in verse 1. That God is the owner of all things. And the second thing that Jesus wants us to see is the issue of stewardship. You and I, we are stewards. The Lord has not that He will, you know, entrust certain things into uh, some of His properties into our care. I want you to understand this. Everyone that is a Christian has the property of God in him. The Holy Spirit inside us is the property of God. The gift of the spirits that we have, they are God's properties. Even this, our physical body, is God's property. Even as we have this, our physical body, it is not the same for all of us. We have our, our skull, our head. This, the air is not the same. Timan saw rock where Agbari were back and I can see where I had to tell you, can you hear him? Tell you, can you turn to you? In your corner, my face, so 
When I say that our head is not the same, I'm not talking about the size that some is big and some has you know big and small and some has small head. But what I'm trying to emphasize is that we the, the property, the intellectual property differ. It is God's property. When they say that somebody has legs, it is quite different from these legs that we used to walk. In Yoruba land, when they say that somebody has legs, it is not about this physical leg, but rather what they are saying is that the person is gifted in visiting people not to be a busybody or to be somebody that will go to somebody's house and be discussing people, you know. You know when they say somebody has mouth, it is different from this our mouth that we used to eat. no, to Tell me, ba fienu e bate nyaje. Afi tolo du mari ba tose la ye ni e pili guman la ye. We are talking about the mouth that people use, you know, to to make themselves, to make people or to destroy people. Mo fe je ko ye ni ni pe chimba so fun ni pe bubu wa ni olong fun ni dukia ti uti fi dukia re si kawo wa. I want you to understand that each and every one of us has God's property, even with us. And we don't have it the same way. Because the Lord did not give us the same way. But we must understand as Christians. That which is the God's property in my care, and that which is God's property in your care. In our body, there are certain endowments that God had deposited in us, which is different from one person to another. These are talents that which did we did not work for before we have them. I want to kia ulo du mariri tia pisi kawo Christiani koka. These are God's properties that have been placed in the care of every individual Christian. Into sawadi rijuni nye. And that is what had made us to become a steward. Yatosi nye. Apart from that, you know, the, the property of God, the call of God is, is property as well. Aha. Truly, all of us had been called to Christ. But it is not all of us that God had been set apart for his work. For those that have been set apart for his work, ask God's property in them to change, to repair the world. Whatsoever the ministry gift or the gift of the Spirit which the Lord had called you with, it belongs to God. It is not for you. Whatsoever 
any canvas of my pee. Why I was ordinary so long or bomb or long on the end or down long. It is not the Bible school or the seminary that you go to that gives you the ministry. If anybody should call you and say, Come, we are going to part into ministry gift, they are deceiving you, they are liars. Oh Lord, ni o ma ya eyan soto lati nu yare fun ise mi ma it is god that sets ones apart right from the mother's womb to do his sacred work oluwa wa so pe awon duke aye o gbodo ya lai so to pelu e and the lord is saying that all these properties in us that we must never be okay with them in your ma wi pe akoko ti a ni do you also know that the time that we have is God's property? Do you know that our treasury, whatsoever properties, physical properties that we may have, they are God's properties? Is it the husband that you have or the wife that you have that you think it is yours? They are not yours. They are God's properties because there are people that are far quite older than you. They have lived you know, several years even before you but yet they are yet to be married. Duke our lonely, could our Ludu manage so only on my knee, Neo Lua. Even that you have children, you should know that they are God's property. Even the scripture said that children are the heritage of the Lord. O Lord, my name is Mafuni Aloma. It is God that gives children. I want to come, one read Tita J, one is a JC, one read Jackie, see Paco. There are people in our world today that have money. They have all that it all the good things of this world, but yet the God does not give them children. Oh, the owner of all things can just go to the house of one poor man that even find it difficult to eat. You know, you can just dash them and give them like four children. Are we getting what I'm saying? Please don't forget what we're talking about. Please don't forget what we Nino owe iri ju alaiso to yi o ni mo na nbe fun wa mo ti koko fi olohun ayin la koko ikeji ni duke are to fi si kawo iri ju i have been trying to highlight the five major issues that christ is bringing forth to us in this uh, parable of the shrewd manager i have shown to you that number 1 is that god is the owner of all things and the second one is that whatever we have in this world, that we are stewards, God, everything belongs to God. But I just pay our Christian among Purogan, Papa, in only among Purogan, I will learn one now, Purolo Polar, anyone. So once it is called one now, Nero, and let's up with Kuma, so Timonio to Pume Loju, Jolua, Lot, about the Caramosi, Kiwa. Oh Lord, oh Lord. To come in lo ju jolu alo. Boba wan karama aro nye. To di pe e ke ne wa. You know many a times we Christians we like to deceive ourselves and even people that write songs but some of our song ministers they will come and begin to sing that there is nothing that I have in this world that everything belongs to God, but truly inside us, we know that we are deceiving ourselves. Upon can teach our colonial, so much is so to the Poduko Roti Jackie or can you a tone tolly? 
de de lori eni ba ti jo kan ju akosi bo ti fe se ti o ni jale you know many things even in this world that do not belong to us but due to the nature the covetous nature that is in us you know, we try to you know to divert them to make people to see that those things are i mean belong to us just because covetousness and stealing work together Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my, oh. That my house, my children, my gifts, my clothes, my footwears. We pay, but I Even when the Lord is saying that this cloth, this footwear, does not belong to you. Go and give it to the owner. Then you begin to say, ah, no, I bought it. I used my money to buy it. See and tell me. Are you following me? What I am trying to make known to you is that you are not Never should you lay claim, you know, to God's property that is in your care as if it is yours. It is not yours. It belongs to God. You are only to manage it. Let's go to First Corinthians. Chapter four, verse seven. For who make a deed to differ from another? Uh -huh. And what has thou that thou did not receive? Hey, woman. Look at me. The Lord will deliver us from pride. If a woman has a husband, there is nothing that one can have and cannot boast of. You know, once you see yourself as being, you know, higher up than somebody else, then you begin to, you know, to uh, display some pride. You know, all of us were on the same platform before. In, in bag, bag, Jesus, but when we, when we, that was when we received Jesus as our Lord and Savior. We were on the same platform. And we were calling ourselves brothers and sisters. But we were calling ourselves brothers and sisters. Then when we began to receive certain things from God, then we began to see ourselves as higher than others. Daddy lag badja, mommy lag badja. We say daddy this and daddy that. Ning bata si bagba yerere and your dog babi resi. When we first you know, took the gospel, we were on the same page. Tu man tori kpe, igbe ga kande, juwe lo mena lo, igba mi gan wa yin tolo ngbe ga gan ongo so kwe ke kpe uni daddy. Sister, <laughs> What is I want what has thou that thou of Tiko Jekwe Owo Long Letiriba? That you did not receive. 
why dost thou glory as if thou hast received it? Has not received it. Cosintimoni, cosintoni, tiki is your war long to new book boy in Latin bar. There is nothing that I have, there is nothing that you have that we did not get from the God that holds all things. Wow, wow, for me, wow, for Kalima, the Beraga. Those things were not given to me or to you for us to be boasting. These things were not given unto us to be using it to brag about. There is a purpose that this person that gave it, the God that gave them to us, want us to use for him. I said, I'm working on five issues. God, the owner of all things. Number two. The steward entrusted with God's property. Number three. Number three. Is the third person. A strange person. The accuser who monitors the stewards. Eric pe babo lo mu yen so pe iwo ma iriju yi kini o se inti mo ngbo ni pare ka lo sinu luku yen ori 16 ese tu o ga re ba pe je je mu lati ese 1 Verse one. one that I said two ni mo fe ka. Verse one and two. So I no look Luke sixteen. Are you in Luke chapter sixteen? Okay. Jesus, if one or many be, any only you ba, you only have only man can be. Kema rope, kini o majora wa, o ba jako buli wa lo wore in kankana ni. Jesus, if one or many be, o koni o lo o kawa tu ni o mo do kan. Mo fi e sun kamo do yipe on fi kong gare sofo. And he said also unto his disciples, There was a certain rich man which had a steward, and the same was accused unto him that he had wasted his goods. O gare bank pe, o sofun pe, iruro yi woni mung boni pare yi, siro se re bi o modo, ni turi ngo dao dru le nun se. And he called him and said unto him, How is it that I hear thee, this of thee? Give an account of thy stewardship, for thou mayest be no longer steward. In these two verses, Jesus had shown us five things. That the Lord Jesus is showing us to God as the owner, this rich man. Because he was giving this parable to his disciples, making us to know that every one of us we are stewards. Ikatanipe eni kanwa tumfi wa sun olu fi sun tin tokme pe ni ajua ye wa tin sokwe eni to fi du ke aresi lowo tumfi sofoni o. And the third issue is this issue of the accuser who monitors us and report us to the Father that this person that you have given your properties to is wasting it. And you all know that our accuser is Satan. He is the one that accuses us before the Lord day and night. And the number four thing that Jesus wants us to see is that the Lord wants us to see that the Lord wants us to divine expectation that must be met to perpetuate the continuity of stewardship. If these stewards we continue to be a steward, Brethren, please take note of certain words here. That if I will continue to be a steward before the Lord, if I will continue to be a steward before the Lord, 
What will happen is that the God's property that is in my care that the God's properties that are in your care be about the same long one get be a room bar in your in your so boya mama to see what you like my very jury boy I want to my to see what you like my jury jury as I use it in expectation of what the owner wants me to use it for is what we determine if I will continue to be a steward. And the way you use your own too, to his expectation is what determines whether you continue to be a steward as well. If there will be anyone in our midst, if, and you have a once upon a time story, that once upon a time, I once had money. So money is in. But now, on salary. Now you are a scavenger. Koto bu awon ajeli baba re. Before you start abusing the fa the witches of your father's house. Kan won wo li to fi awe si olese. Before prophet, you know, we kill you with fasting. Kan le ogun le yin lo le. I say that it is the battles of your father's house that you is very harsh. Why not just call yourself to you know, a, a, a solemn meeting? That why you had money? What benefits did you do for God? Do I have anybody here? That once upon a time, that the fire of the Holy Spirit was burning you. Oh, my dear. And you cannot say that the, the heaven was shot on you before you begin to rain abuses on the devil. Why not call a solemn meeting? That while this fire of the Holy Spirit was burning in your heart, are you, are you gathering with Jesus or are you with Jesus or scattering? Are you meeting the needs that Jesus wanted you to use that anointing for? I want you what is Susi Wadu? Kilo de Tiwo Susi Wadu. And you begin to sing that those that we started together, they have gone ahead. Why haven't you gone ahead as well? Mabaya Kankpade. I once met a woman. Oh, Kani come for me. She sang a song to me. Wani Olu Ambe Bi Tati Jo Awa Ni Osi Baba Bi Tati Jo Ma Ni Susi Wadi Ba Mo Jo Ma Jo Sirafu. Bawa si man koko nye. Olu ambe ori so jini. Bi tati jo. Awala o si baba bi tati jo ma. Olu ambe bi tati. Ebi otun so. Shukwe yayi. O kofu me lo na mi. But this woman sang this song to me in another way. Olu ambe bi tati jo. The God is still a small fool. Awani wan o si baba bi tati jo ma. That they are the one that no more serving God as of old. Why are some people gone ahead? Why you are still behind? Why is it that you keep hearing prophecies and you never had fulfillment? It is that, that, that person that is faithful in little. So should be faithful in much as well. Anybody those that are faithful in that which is not his, surely he will get his own. That is what I want you to see. That this God's properties that are in your care, that are you using them up to the expectations of God that put them in your care? Ika 
Number five. Isiro. Accountability. Isiro. Accountability. Isiro ini awa so boya are osile tabag bioga. It is this accountability that will now say whether you will be promoted or you will be demoted. It was a base zero ile lori and what this accountability will be based upon is your faithfulness ki se pe ah inti oluwa fi si ka omi mo toju re sinsin it is not that that which god had kept in my care i took very good care of it oluwa on re that god this is it yen ko that is not it i so turn on here that is still unfaithfulness yen ti e ma wa so e di ka omo odo omo odo buburu and that will even make you a wicked steward. Esere, o tin complain by esere, esere. Your legs have started complaining. Mo gba gbo pa ti gba duwa. I believe we have prayed. In to je ke emi su ma da elam, n gba ara are le gan ore ki la gbo ara are yi se for Lord. Why the powers of darkness can trouble you is that why you are you no know, ill and healthy. What benefit had your body brought to the kingdom of God? When you have your you know, legs and your hands and your head is correct. Now, you, know, you suffer loss of memory. When you are in your, in your correct so, uh, state of mind, of what benefit are your intellectual powers brought to God? Now that it is otherwise, I want you to be to be Those that don't want to abuse you, they don't want one to spoil your mood. And uh, they will say that ah, he is, he is getting old. Uh, 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 this is gray hair on his head. Uh, they don't want to spoil your mood. But even if they don't do that, let me help you out. How old are you that you are saying that you are getting old? Caleb was 85 years old. He said he could go up that he will go and fight and he will take the land. The Lord that you say that you have received was the same God that Caleb received. While your body was strong, what benefit had that body brought to God? Uh, somebody said about a man a, a, a woman of God you know, said something about her father and she said the father we will trek from Mokiado to Arima, at Ekotedo to Arima to come and fellowship in the church there. Now that he did not have money, when the father does not have somebody that will drive him, how old are you now? To see, to to You know, you are very close to church. And yet, you are tending to becoming a, a, a part of Elfire. A meeting that is set for 7 a.m., you get there by 7 a.m. He says, because God has not given us something. When God gives us cars to move, we'll be getting to church on time. So, I want to say, I want to say, I want to say, I Tori 
You see, those that have cars and get to church early, it is not when they got the car that they begin to start that. It's when they were not having vehicle, they were usually getting to church on time. Because even as you drive vehicle, you see use that same leg to press the accelerator. I want to tell you that if you are the type that says that even when you have a, if you have a aircraft, you will still get to church late. Oh, believe me, how am I believe me? I want my Lord King Pe and King Towe. I don't know. King Towe, praise God. King Towe, beloved. King Towe, Axa. King Towe, Josephati. He let you sue. Nigga, Jesse Sigan. Yabi Oliri. In your log, my dick party. Ara, really. Oh, 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 Ninto Desire. Omo mo mo ko yin mo yan laye are ko si ti won gbe fun e elomi ohun ti ba ti eje ile ra to ni ohun ni fi isun you know some women some married women you know they get to church late and begin to give excuses that it is because of my children before i give before i bath this one before i do this at home before i do that when you were not married were you not getting to church you know late Ask yourself. I pray that the Holy Spirit will open your heart. All some of these excuses are the things that will bar many of us from succeeding. Oye ko ti juba lo ye ko ti juba lo awon aiso to re nigba pelu awon nkan kekeke o ni o je ko lo nti ira to ori e olodumari iporo sugbon lo awon bo ti olo ti iporo to bo ti je oloto to ti ti ferin yan ki se lo di si lana e that you hot to have gone beyond this and you keep saying that you know god is a faithful god it is your unfaithfulness that is keeping you at that particular point God is very, very unfaithful. I mean, very faithful and a principled God. Koni tori tiye ye It will not because of you, you no know, change his principle. Injoro inye. Do we get this? Inje o tiri po ye koro nukwara abo tiri po ye koro nukwara. Have you been seeing any reason for you to repent? Ah, say zero. We are going to account. Could you better battle down on Kato say zero? It is not until we get to heaven that we make give account. Say the capability to learn a man that I in let your come about your whole lua dying in a job. Have you, you, you read in the scripture where the Bible said that judge yourself, judge yourself so that you will not be judged? Say the carry. But you abandon our let your. I want one way to judge ourselves is by examining the way we use this proper God's properties that is with us. Let us read the scripture. Leviticus 25. Leviticus chapter 25. Verse 23. Leviticus 25. We want to show to us that God is the owner of all things. The God is the owner of the property and is the owner of you, the stewards, as well. So to one in Leviticus 25. Are you there in Leviticus chapter 25? Yes, 23. Verse 23. The land shall not be sold forever, for the land is mine, for ye are strangers and sojourners with me. Don't ask me whether it is a sin to sell land. You are not children of Israel. It is this is for the children of Israel that the land Ma, which I have given unto you, you must not sell. Lie, lie. That you should not sell the land forever. 
even the land that you sell here belongs to the government is that not it that the land belongs to our father belongs to our ancestors now they are requesting for the CFO so ni we ri ijoba pe wo lo nile do you have the sea of o that the land belongs to you chronica keni ori 29 first chronicles chapter 29 ti mo fe ke ri ninu levitiku yen pe oluwa lo nlo no ngbogbo what i want you to see from that leviticus is that the lord owns all things chronicles keni ori 29 se 12 first chronicles chapter 29 verse 12 lati odo re wa ni oro ati o lati nwa o si joba lori gbogbogbo hi kawo ore ni pa ati agbara wa o wa ni kawo ore lati gbe ni ga ati lati fun ni lagbara both riches and honor come of thee and thou reigns over all and in thy hand is power and might and in thy hand it is to make great and to give strength unto all only in David 24 is a one. Psalm chapter 24 verse 1. Oluwa lo nile ati gbogbo n to wa ninu re. Ohun lo ni aye ati gbogbo awon ti n gbe inu re. That is the Lord and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Colossians ori 1 is a 16. Colossians chapter 1 verse 16. In ti an je ko ye yin ni pe Christ Jesus on lo lo n gbogbo. What we are make known to you is that Jesus Christ Jesus is the owner of all things. Ni tori pe ni pase re ni ati da o n gbogbo lorun ati laye ato n ta ri ato n ta ko ri iba se ite oba tabi joba taba won alagbara Taba wan la se ni pasere la ti dag bo bo nkan ni tori tre ni ase da wan. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. The Lord owns me and he owns you as well. Ona meji lo vijay u lo ngluri aye wa. For he for is oh, the owner of over our life in two ways. Nick Pai said that by creation at Nick Pai Rakbada and by redemption. Oh no, Dawa. He made he created us. We remember so John one. What near to one? Yes, a three large at his cousin or what? Only Nick Passere Lapida Umbo. In John chapter one, verse one to three, you know, he said, Through him were all things made. According to Kinyori 6, SNN chapter 20, O Nikpe, O Tira Wani Yekan Awa Kola Nera Wama. First Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 and 20 said, He has bought us with a price that we are not the owner of our lives again. Oluwa lo ni dukiare. God is the owner of his property. Awa igagan dukia olo wo ni wa. Even we, we are God's properties. Ko wa yala isoto. Ona brukuni. To be unfaithful is a great offense. Onlo ni wa, onlo ni to fisika wa wa. He's our owner and is the owner of the things that he put in our care. Be awa jai riju alfa ni la lo jefun wa. That we are stewards, it's a great opportunity. Tuma po wa jai riju kotuma sikpe go go do atikpo ore la ye ni wa fi jai riju. That you are a steward does not mean that you will continue to be st a steward all through the days of your life. Ah, Allah, ni je ki o je ni ti wong bagbe. May God never make us to become a forgotten person. Ke yon ku osan ju pe ka yon bagbe yon lo. It is better to die than for one to be living and for people to just forget him. I yon mo lo ni pe ko je ni ta ma ri ba. The honor of a child of God is that such a person should be what who people can always go to. Chiwa, Boba Chidi Peni, you are laye, kosi laye ma, a ori eni eti buru. That for somebody to be alive, but not to be alive in the real sense, then such a person is unfortunate. Ake pe, wasi lo se riju re o ni se riju ma, ake ye o ni ba eloru kodjesu. That acts that come and give the account account of your steward such that because you will no longer be a steward, may that not fall on you. Tia kenya bati banya eni emara rekuli. Anyone that receives such an acts will become nobody all the days of his life. Ogba dua le kasi ake yo ni ba me ati loru kajes. May that acts never be our portion in the name of Jesus. Egberu adua wa egberu amiora. 
You know, a thousand amen will not do it. But for us to choose to be faithful, you know, to be faithful is a matter of choice. That I have the Holy Spirit that still make me to be a faithful person. That you are a chosen person or a beloved of the Lord does not make you to be faithful. Even when you are singing that I know my father, uh, he knows me, you know, you are only, you know, bragging. You will soon calm down. If you will not be demoted, if you will not be a, become a nobody in this life, among the saints, among the people of God, myself and you must choose to be faithful. What that what is being requested from that steward is that he be faithful. And what is faithfulness? That which had been given to me for me to use it just as the owner said I should use it. If I use it as he wants me to use it truly I will get profit from it. And my life will bring in profit. Once your life begins not to profit God again then you are unfaithful. On a faithful day, the ask of come and give an account of your stewardship because because you will no longer be a steward. You bow. We follow you. Stand to your feet. The Lord have mercy on me. I choose today to be faithful it will be good that you commence this prayer like this. Say that cover it, sin shall not prosper. The Lord, I have been unfaithful with regards to your properties with me. I believe the Holy Spirit must have told you that you are unfaithful. The Lord, forgive me. Let me make this call. If the Lord has, has spoken to you that you are unfaithful, come forward. Spoken to you that you are unfaithful, come forward. So that our hearts of you will no longer be a steward, will not follow you. You will no longer be a steward, will not follow you. Confess it. The Lord, I have been unfaithful. I have been unfaithful in the past. Lord, have mercy on me. Forgive me. We must not take this thing with levity. It will not be good for us to die as a nobody. That the acts of you will no longer be a steward. The Lord, forgive me these sins. Confess this to God. It is the Lord that you sin against, not man. You will have become greater than this. You will have become greater than this. That which had brought a retrogression upon your life is unfaithfulness. The Lord, forgive me. Tell him, the Lord, have mercy on me. Give me yet another opportunity. Give me another chance, O Lord. For the rest, tell the Lord, Lord, I choose to be faithful in your house. The Lord, I choose to be faithful. 
with the property that you have given me and that which you will still give me. I will not use them you know, for my sake. I will use them to bring up your expectations. Lord, I choose this day to be faithful. Oluwa mo yan leni lati je oloto I choose to be a faithful Christian Mo yan lati di oloto Christian leni all that I have Bogbo nti mo ni and all that I will have Bogbo nti ma ni all that I am Bogbo nti mo je and all that I will be Ati gbogbo nti ma da we serve your purpose Lati fi wa lati fi se ife re Lord, this is my choice, O oh Lord. Jesus Christ, Oluwa. In Jesus' mighty name. Oluwa, 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 Oluwa. Mo fi awa yon fe ili Oluwa. Eje Jesus Christ, son to daluri Oluwa. Eje abeli nke fun esan. Eje Christi kusoro anu luri aye yi. Baba ni da jo ranti anu. Jesu Christi, ni da jo ranti anu. Sa anu fwa wa yon fe yi. Dari e se ji wan. Fwa ni anfa ni minan. Ati awa, ati awa, anyan lo ni kbe. Hau je ou lo o to iri ju si yon. Bogbo on ta ane. Ati bogbo ta o ne. Bogbo on ta je lo ni ati nta o je lo la. Ogbo ta ane lo ni ati nta o ton ne lo la. Oluwa a o fi mou e te re se. A o ni fi se ya kon. A o ni fi gbe la ga. A o fi se yon. A o si fi e yi han wa. Ne kpa fi fun a ne a le kon o du se. O lono ne joba re ko kawaye. Oluwa a o fi mou e te re se.